So today I'm joined by Bob Black from uh, Juki, uh, the number one supplier of pick and place machines here, of course, in the United States, and uh, celebrating this year your 25,000th machine, Bob. Yeah, we uh, earlier this month we shipped our 25,000th uh, unit uh, since we began uh, the pick and place business, so it's a milestone for us, and we'll be having a uh, party. Mm -hmm. at the Protec show in uh, Tokyo in June uh, to celebrate. Great, great. Well, so. congratulations on that. Now, you know, let's talk a little bit about the, the North America uh, uh, market and the actual show here because you're introducing two new machines here. Uh, can we talk a bit about these machines and what features you're bringing? Yes. Uh, so our two new machines are the 3010 and the 3020V. Uh, they're the latest uh, uh, versions of our modular KE series. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're a little bit faster, of course, about 10% speed increase from the 2070-2080. Mm -hmm. uh, but the 3020V in particular uh, has a new feature which allows it to go five times faster on uh, BGA and other f uh, fine pitch components. Okay. So it can feed packages at a much higher speed. So for customers that have a large uh, board with a lot of PGAs or QFNs, mm -hmm. uh, this machine will assemble it much faster. So how is it achieving that? Is it close? Well, uh, two ways. Number one, we use now multiple nozzles to pick up the BGAs, and we have a new vision that allows us to fly over while keeping the same resolution and detail of image. Mm -hmm. uh, and the second thing is we've got a high-speed tray feeder where the machine doesn't have to wait at all for the parts. As soon as the machine has uh, placed the previous pick mm -hmm. uh, and is back to pick, the new tray is there right. ready, to, uh, ready to pick. And so this uh, tray feeder holds double the number of trays and it uh, has instant changeover and uh, changes change. very fast so that uh, when the machine uh, is uh, back from placing and ready to pick again, it doesn't have to wait at all. Right. Uh, to pick the components uh, directly from the tray. Right. So these are these are trays that are basically the, the stacked up in a, in a feeder and yeah, and the them. trays are actually in uh, uh, in uh, cassettes mm -hmm. so that they can be removed and replaced as a set right. and they can be kitted offline. Mm -hmm. So reloading the tray feeder is also very fast for changeover from one board type to the other. Right. Right. So you mentioned that the, the placement speed is much faster. I mean, what mm -hmm. sort of um. Uh, well, uh, really the cool. overall speed of the machine is about 19,000 an hour. For a fine pitch, we can get up in the 9,000 an hour range in okay. placing BGAs. Okay, well, that's very, very respectable, that's for sure. Now, the other big announcement you've got this week is, of, of course, the introduction of uh, some Chinese-built um, printers and uh, refill ovens. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you've done some sort of joint venture, I believe, with, uh, with JT, which is one of the leading manufacturers out there. Um, yes. So uh, can you talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah, I certainly can. Um, a lot of our customers, especially in Latin America, are looking for complete line quotations, and several of our competitors from Asia offer that feature. So we had to do it as well. Mm. And so we looked for uh, good partners that uh, uh, could uh, give us state-of-the-art uh, equipment at a good value. And JT is now the largest manufacturer of ovens in the world, right. uh, having uh, uh, near a thousand ovens at Foxconn alone mm -hmm. and um, uh, so we integrated with them and uh, tested uh, their machines and uh, over the last uh, several months worked out an exclusive uh, distribution and service arrangement for the Americas uh, for all JT's products and in addition uh, we're going to take advantage of their manufacturing capability by developing some further products together right. in the coming years. So. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, that was going to be my next question, is, is how much input have you had to the, to the uh, development of these uh, machines that you're, you're selling from them? Uh, considerable. Uh, mm -hmm. We've gone to some of our larger customers, uh, gotten a wish lists from them what they'd like mm -hmm. to see uh, on their ovens and wave solder machines and uh, have implemented some of those features uh, in the uh, ovens and uh, wave solder machines from and, JT. Mm -hmm. And uh, our other partner is uh, GKG, which is mm -hmm. the largest manufacturer of screen printers yes. uh, in China. And uh, they just uh, got some good news Monday. They won a uh, competition uh, against MPM and DEC uh, with uh, Foxconn and got an order for 50 printers uh, for the new central China uh, facility. facility. 
uh, and uh, that has a possibility of a follow-on of another hundred. So they're quite uh, pleased about that. That's a bit that. about that. Uh, but we've uh, uh, had uh, one of their printers uh, at one of our customers for a 10-month mm -hmm. uh, test. Uh, customer was very satisfied with the quality and performance of the printer. We've added a few features for the American market, such as a greater uh, uh, bottom side clearance for double-sided complex, double-sided SMT boards, right. which you don't see so much in China, but you do see a lot here. Yeah. And uh, also some other software features to make it a little more American market friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're looking forward to that. We've, we've uh, introduced the uh, printer a little earlier than the oven and uh, wave, so we've already actually sold uh, half a dozen machines and are uh, already in regular shipment uh, from the factory. Right. So what, what sort of cycle time do you get uh, out of the, the printer? Uh, we've, uh, uh, transport time out of the printer in and out is 8.5 seconds, so okay. that can keep, that com is competitive with uh, all the other printers you'll find in yep. the hall. Uh, and then, of course, you add your print time because that can mm -hmm. vary. But mm -hmm. uh, no, it can stand up with every uh, uh, with every uh, one of the competitors uh, mm -hmm. here in uh, in performance and spec. And of course, with the ovens and the uh, printers, we're offering our three-year parts warranty, uh, okay. one-year labor, as we do on all our placement mm -hmm. machines. And that was one of my little tests for JT and GKG was asking if they would join us and stand behind their product, and both of them said yes, which, mm -hmm. uh, of course, encouraged me greatly on their yeah. belief in, in the quality. And, you know, um, China has a little bit of a reputation uh, made in China, but, you know, when I examine the fact, uh, most of our competitors in the hall uh, uh, also manufacture most of their products in China, so we're just joining the Made in China Club right. uh, along with the rest. Right, of course. And I think China really, I mean, it's, it's like where Japan was 40 years ago, except they're, they're coming to the market even quicker. Uh, yes. You know, the, well, you the know, when we both were children, uh, mm. Made in Japan meant it was kind of poor quality and cheap. Sure. And true. that certainly has changed over the years, and I think uh, we're seeing the same evolution in China. Right. And uh, maybe 20 years from now, uh, you know, uh, it'll be perceived the same way as Japan is perceived today. Absolutely. Well, in fact, the, G the GKG printers that you were talking about earlier, I mean, they, they make uh, what I think is currently the, the widest printer in, in the world at the moment. They've got a one meter wide printer that they, yeah. they produce for the LED market. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, mm. We're showing it here, the uh, Pmax. It'll do a 1200 millimeter uh, long board maximum, mm -hmm. uh, or in uh, for our American uh, visitors, uh, 31 inch by 48 inch uh, okay. panel. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, since we make two versions of 1200 millimeter board LED placement machines now, right. that fits hand in hand uh, with that. And it's right now the only a standard model inline printer uh, mm -hmm. that can do that board size. Right, right. Very interesting. Well, as always, you're, you've always got a lot of innovation on your booth, Bob. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, many congratulations with the new arrivals, and um, we look forward to seeing them being successful for you in the future. Well, thanks very much, Trevor. A Thank pleasure you. having you here. Thank you. This is Trevor Galbraith reporting from the Juki booth here at Apex.